We've spotted a wild Arcadian. Our very first wild Arcadian. They are flying us out to our newly minted public villager trading hall where I am trading up some things to get some books for my brand new diamond gear. The system in this trading hall is super fun. They have it set up to, um, to zombify these guys at a click of the button and they get splashed with potion and then you give them an apple. Like, we have this guy here. And we go, a dupe. So far, I've zombified this guy. I might do him one more time. We are playing on hard, so zombifications work every time, which is really nice. So I think, let's send you away. Goodbye, sir. And he returneth as a zombie. A jup. Have fun, boys. Oh, that's our our mending boy. Ah, yes, it is our mending boy back. I'm gonna send this guy through one more time. Unbreaking three. This is another one we're gonna need a lot of. Let's go ahead and send him through. <laughs> These poor guys. I do torture them, so. Hello, Mr. Mending. <gasps> we are down to one emerald for mending. I need... What I need is to be able to trade up those guys. Because I have so many berries. Come on, sir. You can do this. You are capable. Yes. Oh, yes! There we go. Well, I think... For now, we got a pack-up shop. And we'll head, we'll head over to the end. Well, now I have plenty of ender pearls. Let's see what we get on this sword. Unbreaking three, sure. And it's just unbreaking three. We will add sharpness five and mending. Okay, that's not bad. Depth Strider 3, Fire Protection 3, and Unbreaking 3. I was looking for a Protection 4, but you know, Protection 3 is just fine. Okay, okay, I know I said I was going to play with armor stands in this episode, but I, I, I have a few errands to run first. Now, of course, I always need a little bit more gunpowder. Um, I really need to build up a stock, but I was doing some poking around on our maps, and realized that the gold farm is like right where I want to build my portal. Oh my gosh, that is always such a loud, loud thing. Okay, so our gold farm should be, ah, uh ha. -huh. Well, this is fancy. It's very redstone-y. Alright, so I am hoping that this is far away enough from everything to, uh, to actually, like, connect correctly to the right spot. So, here goes. It is so very, very loud. But, that's awesome. So this is my portal going to the nether roof, and eventually we'll pretty it up and do all those things, but that's gonna make traveling around a lot easier. And conveniently, we are right next to the gold farm. Can I give you some of this? All right, there we go. That's what we were looking for. All right. Ah, that's all he's going to take from me for now. It's fine. It's fine. All right, that was way more painful than it needed to be, but <laughs> there we go. There's my Sharpness 5 book. Okay, that's a rather ghastly sight. That is very strange. 
Okay, then. Okay, let's add some sharpness five to our sword. So with this uh, shovel, can I like add silk touch and it will negate the fortune or do I need to take the enchantments all the way off and put them back on? Ugh, I don't want to think about it. <laughs> hey, at this point, I am heading straight back into the nether because I need... Let's see, so... Should be back this way. I am planning... What is this? It looks like an iron farm, maybe? Maybe? I'm not sure. Dang! That looks interesting. But anyways... I would like to uh, make a farm because I spent all morning, gosh, well, most of the day actually, working on a less laggy moss farm design in my creative world. But I realized that there are a few elements that I need that I don't have yet. Alright, this should be the shopping district portal. It's quite large, so I assume so. Ah, uh, yes. The laggiest place on the server. I am looking for probably a redstone shop. Um, and I don't know exactly where to, you know, look for that. Um, we, we, we should have a map, actually. Bless. Okay. Pet shop. Doo, 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 doo. I should go look at the pet shop. That looks cool. Fungus for all. Our second wild Arcadian. I am on a mission. Before I forget where it is. We'll check both the redstone shop and the slime shop. Um, Because this is, this is Fang's area. They have a few stores in here. Um... And then music. Oh, is it maybe back here? I haven't seen this. Ooh. I haven't used uh, blue, blue lights yet. The soul lights in anything. And I think that's a real shame. So, maybe I'm turned around from where the map was. I don't know. Lance. Oh, spore blossoms in stock. I wonder. I wonder if uh, we have a crafting recipe for spore blossoms. Redstone. Oh, ooh. <laughs> that's that's good presentation. Okay. Okay. I need. Well, I need sticky pistons, but. I was gonna just get some slime blocks. So that's kind of my dilemma here. But I think there was a slime place. There, there was a specific <laughs> slime place. Shopping district is busy today, my goodness. This episode, we're seeing everybody, my goodness. This looks like, yeah, this looks like slime drop. I'm guessing then that... <laughs> Slimes up here. Yes! Slime balls. One diamond per stack. Okay. I will take a stack for a diamond. And that's what I need from here, because I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the actual nether. You guys know that that is my nightmare. Alright. But we have to I've never done this. Oh yes. <laughs> that is incredibly fun. Uh, I hate going to the Nether area, but I need to put my big girl pants on and wouldn't mind having a good, yeah, power five on this since I am going to go into the nether. So we'll pay up and oh, go on our way. Oh, dang it. I forgot. Because I don't have any, very many arrows, I was going to grab an infinity book. 
to put on. <laughs> oh well. Okay, this is going to be much scarier another portal to go through. But, go through we must. I believe that... Yeah, okay, the, so this is another waste. Oh, that's actually much better than what I thought it was going to be. And we're quite low already. So, ooh, look at this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There's quartz there already. So what I think I'm going to do is I am going to just burrow down a little bit to netherite level, ancient debris level. Which is 15. So I'm going to just kind of dig my way down there. And I've got a few beds that I can explode. Ooh, there's... Ooh. I am not opposed to collecting some magma blocks. Those are good for farming. I love tearing through this stuff, to be honest. It looks super cool, too. Oh, there's some quartz. Awesome. That's really what I need here. Everything else is just bonus. Currently, anyways. Alright, I left us plenty of area to... Um... To mine more magma blocks. It just kept going. But I think, since we're at level 15, what I'm going to do is place down a bed there and... Oh! Okay! I've never done that before. It's actually kind of fun. So I do take damage by doing that. So that's good to know, I suppose. Oh! oh! My first ancient debris! Okay, here we go. Woo! I've found surprisingly a lot less quartz than I was anticipating, but... The ancient debris is now my most prized possession. Alright, last bed. Let's see if we get another debris from this. That could be nice. Okay. Um, we're gonna things out. I do not see any more ancient debris. Or quartz, for that matter. Actually. So, I think we'll leave it there. Well, it was a quick little mission. But it was successful. And I am out of there. And no, no. No, I do not want it. I do not want those to be connected. Dang it. I thought I was far enough away. I guess we'll have to move our other portal up the river a little ways. That's going to be a whole thing to sort out, but you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. Not right now. <laughs> oh, this chest situation is really getting out of hand. Well, that was exciting. My mouse ran out of batteries mid-flight. I was closer to here, though, so I came and landed and went and found myself my... some new batteries. What? What is this sound? Eventually, I'm going to make a creeper farm in my area, just so that it can be going passively. Um, so that I don't have to come and hang out here to scrounge up bits of gunpowder. So out this direction, there is not only jungle, but it looks like there's some desert and mesa area. Um, ooh, what is this? Wait, is this? This isn't a jungle temple thing, is it? Because I haven't actually encountered one of these yet. If it is. It looks like it might be. Also looks like it's probably, well, it's definitely been encountered before.
I don't know how these work. I've, again, I've never encountered one before. Ah, and here we are. So this desert has a bit of desert, a bit of red desert, a little beyond, I think. And a pillager tower, apparently. Um, okay. And then some mesa. Some badlands. Let's check out this boat. Ha, there it is. Ah, yes. It is always worth following the treasure maps. Foxos! Oh, cute foxos. Okay, there are indeed pillagers there. So we're going to keep our safe distance and just grab a bit of our sand here. Ooh, we are on our way home again. But I do want to see if maybe I spotted the church here in the village. Let's see if there's maybe a... Mm, nope. It's been taken. As they have everywhere I've been so far. I need a brewing stand. But there's a blaze... There's a public blaze farm, so... Make sure I'm still heading the right direction. Awesome. So many pretty critters. And flowers. There's a bunch of different flowers here in this meadow. I'm wondering if this is a flower forest over here? This area is not loaded in on our map yet. So if this is a flower forest that I can just kind of like set up my farms in? Eh, never mind. It's more plains. That's all. But do white tulips make white dye? Because I'm going to need some white dye. Always take time to pick the flowers. And if they're going to help you on a project later, all the better. This is the little ice spiky thing to the south of our area. Oh, there's another village here. Oh, there's a village with a church. All right, we got to stop in and check it out. Hello, friends. I love these snowy taiga villages. They are my very favorite of all the villages. <gasps> and there is a brewing stand. Sorry. I'm taking that one. Yes, let me fly with my chicken. All right. Let's take a moment to... Mess around with these a little bit more. All right. Yes, we'll definitely show arms here. Okay, okay. And then if we, for example, give it a stick, can we somehow put the composter on as well? <laughs> can that one now hold the... Composter? Come on, come on. Because I know you can make them, like, hold a bunch of different things. Have I been going about trying to break them wrong? I thought you could break them with a, a sword. Maybe. Maybe it's not with the sword. Maybe it's... Eh, the axe is doing nothing. Alright, I'm going to press the infamous terrible button again. And can we place that? No, that's not where the... Did I just lose an armor stand completely? Come on. Can we break, please? Ha! Oh, I made it visible! Okay, okay. Let's uh, make the... Oh, no. Give it back. Let's make this one visible. Yes! Yes! Okay. Okay. Now we can replace the dirt here. Thank goodness. That was an ordeal. 
All right. So if I can give the armor stands dirt and things like that, why can't I give them the composters? Because the composters are what I want to use. Take this. Take this. No. My new nemesis. I just, I just, I just want to, I just want to make a net. That's all I want. Why won't it take it? Why won't they take it? They would take blocks of dirt. What, what's, what? Uh. Ooh. There we go. Okay, that's a start. Now, can we make it maybe a little bit bigger? Is that possible? Gravity is turned off. That's exactly what I like to hear. Okay, that's not the that's not the armor stand that I want. Gravity or uh, that I want. Come on, break already! Break, one of you. Gosh. All right. Well, we have just about everything gathered for our moss farm which we will work on in the next episode, I think. Oh, wow. Skills. I think I will keep messing around with armor stands off camera. I uh, couldn't sleep last night, so I did a bit of resource gathering, and organizing, and like things actually like live in chests that they kind of fit into. So that's a start. This is all my miscellaneous. It's a good start anyways. But before I uh, log off for this episode, I wanted to show you guys something. We have now a portal over here in our dried up riverbed, which is gonna be great for a squid farm later. If I could stand up, that would be nice. Awesome. If we pop through here real quick, We are only a little bit away from our- Oh, no, 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 that's a ghast. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, okay, we're okay. But, we're only a little bit away from our portal there. And this is right here. So, I'm going to half- I'm gonna just- Oh, no. Ah! Nope, 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 nope. Where'd it go? I didn't kill it, did I? Did I? There's XP. Oh, there's a gas tier and a gas head. Oh my gosh, I've not had these things before. Okay, this trip into the nether was okay. Anyways, we're gonna have to take on that bastion. I am uh not ready for that today, but. Oh my gosh. I have to wear every head I get, right? That's just, that's the rule. <laughs> this is incredible. And a gas tier. I've never had one of these before. That is a uh, precious possession. I love my little hidden workspace up here, but you know, I need a real treasure place to hide things. Well, anyways, we had a grindy day with a lot of chores that are not the most pleasant. But, I think that I'm calling that it for this episode. Um, thanks for hanging around. I am really excited to get going on some things that I've planned for next episode. So, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and consider subscribing. I'll see you for the next one. Bye!